Hey, Relationship Friday. I'm KD Bo. And I'm Robin May. You like that? I, I don't know. I just, it's kind of been my thing to introduce you, but, you know, whatever. You know, we okay. switched things up in 2016. Well, then there's whatever. <laughs> okay, so, Robin, this is a good one. I, yes. I like this one because I think sometimes we tend to, when we get in a heated conversation, or just period, we tend to want to throw a little blame. We get defensive, oh, yes. the whole Absolutely. nine. Absolutely. So this is a good one because it's three questions that you should ask yourself before you point the blame at your spouse. Absolutely. And what you just said was so on point. And I can say this for ladies as well. I'm always telling the ladies business. And I hope I'm not putting myself out there by myself, ladies. But I know for me, before I even have a conversation with my husband, I have played the whole thing out in my head. And I don't see when people share their stuff, but what I'm saying you don't is, give faces like that because that makes them not free to share. I want you to share, but like like you just you know the resolution that has gonna turn oh, out. Oh, I know, I know what points I'm gonna make. I know what points he's gonna make. I have a rebuttal to his points. Well, you have had the conversation in my head. His part in your head. Including his part. Because then, then what he's gonna say is, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna say this. Oh my God. And I go on this whole tangent in my mind. Yes, I am a therapist and I do this for a living. But anyway, so there are really, y'all, there are 10 questions you should ask, but we don't have time to hit all 10. Go to IBelieveInMarriage.com and there's a checklist there. Very but good. there are 10 questions you should ask before you point the finger at your spouse. I'm only going to give you three. And this is whether or not y'all are having an issue, if you're concerned about something, if you're already frustrated about something and you haven't brought it to them. Here's question number one. Am I being reasonable? That is one of these undercurrent issues that I see often in counseling. The person is just not being reasonable. Give me an example. Okay, here's an example. Let's say your man goes out of town and you might say, you know what, I feel like when you're out of town, you need to text me every hour. Well, we don't know what's going on. We don't know if he is um, in a meeting and that might be an unreasonable request. And you have to ask yourself, why am I asking that? Or it might be, you know what, I don't care what's going on with her. Dinner needs to be on the table at 7 o'clock. I, I don't care what's happening. That might be an unreasonable request. Man, man, you, know, you know what? See, that's man, what I'm talking about. Man, you know so this is what these... Okay, I'm just kidding. So look, that's number one. Am I being reasonable? Another question. This is huge. Am I being flexible? Wow. Listen, relationships are not about being rigid. In other words, this is the way it has to be, and if it's not like this, I'm going to be frustrated. Am I being flexible? Is there another way that I could look at this? Is there another perspective to this issue? Is there another perspective? That is a very good, very good question. No, it really is very important for us to do that because, remember, this is going to hurt some of y'all. The way you see it isn't the way it has to be. So you have to challenge your perspective. Here's the last one, and this is a good one, too. Am I being protective? Let me tell you what I mean by that. Yeah. We want to protect our relationship. We want to protect our love. We want to protect our appreciation for one another. We want to protect our, our relationship from outside influences. So am I protecting my marriage? Is my idea or my frustration being hyped up by somebody else in my life? Am I allowing outside influences to impact how I'm feeling? Am I protecting my marriage? Mm. If you and your spouse aren't protecting your marriage, you know what that means. You're leaving your marriage vulnerable. You yeah. And if your marriage is vulnerable, anything can get in and destroy it. So the three questions right now, remember there are 10, but right now I want you to ask yourself, am I being reasonable? Am I being flexible? And am I protective of my marriage? I'm a very reasonable, protective, and flexible guy. So the answer is yes, babe. I, I would love for Ivy to grade you herself. Relationship <laughs> Friday, listen, you want to really get in contact with us, go to the website, IBelieveInMarriage.com, or you make a comment right here or share this video. Yes.